Lahore, Urdu, Lor Punjabi, Elr is the capital city of the Pakistani province of Punjab, and is the country's second most populous city after Karachi. The city is located in the northeastern end of Pakistan's Punjab province. Lahore is one of Pakistan's wealthiest cities with an estimated GDP of $127 billion PPP as of 2017. Lahore is the historic cultural center of the Punjab region, and is one of Pakistan's most socially liberal, progressive, and cosmopolitan cities. Lahore's origins reach into antiquity. The city has been controlled by numerous empires throughout the course of its history, including the Hindu Shahis, Ghaznavids, Ghurids, and Delhi Sultanate by the medieval era. Lahore reached the height of its splendor under the Mughal Empire between the late 16th and early 18th century, and served as its capital city for a number of years. The city was captured by the forces of Persian Emperor Nader Shah in 1739, and fell into a period of decay while being contested between different powers. Lahore eventually became capital of the Sikh Empire in the early 19th century, and regained much of its lost grandeur. Lahore was then annexed to the British Empire, and made capital of British Punjab. Lahore was central to the independence movements of both India and Pakistan, with the city being the site of both the Declaration of Indian Independence, and the resolution calling for the establishment of Pakistan. Lahore experienced some of the worst rioting during the partition period preceding Pakistan's independence. Following independence in 1947, Lahore was declared capital of Pakistan's Punjab province. It is also the largest city of the entire Punjab region of both Pakistan and India. Lahore exerts a strong cultural influence over Pakistan. Lahore is a major centre for Pakistan's publishing industry, and remains the foremost centre of Pakistan's literary scene. The city is home to the annual Lahore Literary Festival, considered to be one of South Asia's premier cultural events. The city is also a major centre of education in Pakistan, with some of Pakistan's leading universities based in the city. Lahore is also home to Pakistan's film industry, Lollywood, and is a major centre of Qawwali music. The city also hosts much of Pakistan's tourist industry, with major attractions including the famed Walled City, numerous Sikh shrines, and the Badshahi and Wazir Khan mosques. Lahore is also home to the Lahore Fort and Shalimar Gardens, both of which are UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Etymology The origins of Lahore's name are unclear. Lahore's name had been recorded by early Muslim historians as Lohar, Lohar, and Rawar. Al-Biruni referred to the city as Loawar in his 11th century work, Kanan, while the poet Amir Khusro, who lived during the Delhi Sultanate, recorded the city's name as Lahanur. Medieval Rajput sources recorded the city's name as Lavkot. One theory suggests that Lahore's name is a corruption of the word Ravawar, as R to L shifts are common in languages derived from Sanskrit. Ravawar is the simplified pronunciation of the name Iravatyawar, a name possibly derived from the Ravi River, known as the Iravati River in the Vedas. Another theory suggests the city's name may derive from the word Lohar, meaning blacksmith. According to Hindu tradition, Lahore's name derives from Laspur or Lavapuri, city of lava, and is said to have been founded by Prince Lava, the son of Sita and Rama. The same account attributes the founding of nearby Kajar by his twin brother Prince Kusha. Historic record shows, however, that Kajar was founded by Pashtun migrants in 1525. Topic: History. Early No definitive records exist to elucidate Lahore's earliest history, and Lahore's ambiguous early history have given rise to various theories about its establishment and history. Hindu mythology states that Kanexan, the founder of the mythological Suryavansha dynasty, is believed to have migrated out from the city. Early records of Lahore are scant, but Alexander the Great's historians make no mention of any city near Lahore's location during his invasion in 326 BCE, suggesting the city had not been founded by that point, or was unimportant. Ptolemy mentions in his Geographia a city called Labakla situated near the Chenab and Ravi River, which may have been in reference to ancient Lahore, or an abandoned predecessor of the city. 
Chinese pilgrim Xuanzang gave a vivid description of a large and prosperous unnamed city when he visited the region in 630 CE that has been identified as Lahore. The first document that mentions Lahore by name is the Hudud al Alam, the regions of the world, written in 982 CE, in which Lahore is mentioned as a town which had impressive temples, large markets, and huge orchards. Few other references to Lahore remain from before its capture by Sultan Mahmud of Ghazni in the 11th century. Lahore appears to have served as the capital of Punjab during this time under Anandapala of the Kabul Shahi Empire, who had moved the capital there from Waihind. The capital would later be moved to Sialkot following Ghaznavid incursions. <inaudible> medieval. Ghaznavid Sultan Mahmud of Ghazni captured Lahore on an uncertain date, but under Ghaznavid rule, Lahore emerged effectively as the empire's second capital. In 1021, Sultan Mahmud appointed Malik Ayaz to the throne of Lahore—a governorship of the Ghaznavid Empire. The city was captured by Nialtijan, the rebellious governor of Multan, in 1034, although his forces were expelled by Malik Ayaz in 1036. With the support of Sultan Ibrahim Ghaznavi, Malik Ayaz rebuilt and repopulated the city which had been devastated after the Ghaznavid invasion. Ayaz erected city walls and a masonry fort built in 1037 1040 on the ruins of the previous one, which had been demolished during the Ghaznavid invasion. A confederation of Hindu princes then unsuccessfully laid siege to Lahore in 1043–44 during Ayah's rule. The city became a cultural and academic center, renowned for poetry under Malik Ayah's reign. Lahore was formally made the eastern capital of the Ghaznavid Empire in 1152, under the reign of Khusrau Shah. The city then became the sole capital of the Ghaznavid Empire in 1163 after the fall of Ghazni. The entire city of Lahore during the medieval Ghaznavid era was probably located west of the modern Shah Alami, and north of the Badi Gate. <laughs> Mamluk In 1187, the Ghurids invaded Lahore, ending Ghaznavid rule over Lahore. Lahore was made capital of the Mamluk dynasty of the Delhi Sultanate following the assassination of Muhammad of Ghor in 1206. Under the reign of Mamluk Sultan Qutbu el Din Abak, Lahore attracted poets and scholars from as far away as Turkestan, Greater Khorasan, Persia, and Iraq. Lahore at this time had more poets writing in Persian than any city in Persia or Khorasan. Following the death of Abak, Lahore came to be disputed among Ghurid officers. The city first came under control of the governor of Multan, Nasir ad-Din Kabacha, before being briefly captured by the Sultan of the Mamluks in Delhi, Iltutmish, in 1217. In an alliance with local Kokars in 1223, Jalal ad-Din Mingburnu of the Khwarezmian dynasty of modern-day Uzbekistan captured Lahore after fleeing Genghis Khan's invasion of Khwarezma. Jalal ad-Dins then fled from Lahore to capture the city of Uch Sharif after Iltutmish's armies recaptured Lahore in 1228. The threat of Mongol invasions and political instability in Lahore caused future sultans to regard Delhi as a safer capital for medieval Islamic India, though it had hitherto been considered a forward base. While Lahore had been widely considered to be the center of Islamic culture in the subcontinent, Lahore came under progressively weaker central rule under Iltutmish's descendants in Delhi, to the point that governors in the city acted with great autonomy. Under the rule of Kabir Khan Ayaz, Lahore was virtually independent from the Delhi Sultanate. Lahore was sacked and ruined by the Mongol army in 1241. Lahore governor Malik Ikcharuddin Karakash fled the Mongols, while the Mongols held the city for a few years under the rule of the Mongol chief Togrul. In 1266, Sultan Balban reconquered Lahore, but in 1287 under the Mongol ruler Timur Khan, the Mongols again overran northern Punjab. Because of Mongol invasions, Lahore region had become a frontier, with its administrative center shifted south to Dipalpur. The Mongols again invaded northern Punjab in 1298, though their advance was eventually stopped by Ula Khan, brother of Sultan Aladdin Khalji of Delhi. The Mongols again attacked Lahore in 1305. Tuluk 
The city briefly flourished again under the reign of Ghazi Malik of the Tuluk dynasty between 1320 and 1325, though the city was again sacked in 1329, by Tarmashiran of the Central Asian Chagatai Khanate, and then again by the Mongol chief Hulachu. Kokers seized Lahore in 1342, but the city was retaken by Ghazi Malik's son, Muhammad bin Tuluk. The weakened city then fell into obscurity, and was captured once more by the Kokers in 1394. By the time Timur captured the city in 1398 from Sheikha Koker, he did not loot it because it was no longer wealthy. <laughs> Late Sultanates Timur gave control of the Lahore region to Khazir Khan, governor of Multan, who later established the Sayyid dynasty in 1414 the fourth dynasty of the Delhi Sultanate. Lahore was briefly occupied by the Timurid governor of Kabul in 1432 33. Lahore began to be incurred upon yet again the Kokar tribe, and so the city was granted to Balul Lodi in 1441 by the Sayyid dynasty in Delhi, though Lodi would displace the Sayyids in 1451 by establishing himself upon the throne of Delhi. Balul Lodi installed his cousin, Tatar Khan, to be governor of the city, though Tatar Khan died in battle with Sikandar Lodi in 1485. Governorship of Lahore was transferred by Sikandar Lodi to Umar Khan Sarwani, who quickly left management of this city to his son Said Khan Sarwani. Said Khan was removed from power in 1500 by Sikandar Lodi, and Lahore came under the governorship of Daulat Khan Lodi, son of Tatar Khan and former employer of Guru Nanak, founder of the Sikh faith. Mughal. Early Mughal Babur, the founder of the Mughal Empire, captured Lahore in 1524 after being invited to invade by Daulat Khan Lodi, the Lodi governor of Lahore. The city became refuge to Humayun and his cousin Cameron Mirza when Sher Shah Suri rose in power on the Gangetic Plains, displacing Mughal power. Sher Shah Suri continued to rise in power, and seized Lahore in 1540, though Humayun reconquered Lahore in February 1555. The establishment of Mughal rule eventually led to the most prosperous era of Lahore's history. Lahore's prosperity and central position has yielded more Mughal era monuments in Lahore than either Delhi or Agra. By the time of rule of the Mughal Empire's greatest emperors, a majority of Lahore's residents did not live within the walled city itself, but instead lived in suburbs that had spread outside of the city's walls. Only nine of the 36 urban quarters around Lahore, known as Guzars, were located within the city's walls during the Akbar period. During this period, Lahore was closely tied to smaller market towns known as Kasbas, such as Kajur, Aminabad, and Batala in modern-day India, which in turn, linked to supply chains in villages surrounding each Kasba. <laughs> Akbar Beginning in 1584, Lahore became the Mughal capital when Akbar began re-fortifying the city's ruined citadel, laying the foundations for the revival of the Lahore fort. Akbar made Lahore one of his original twelve Subha provinces, and in 1585–86 relegated governorship of the city and Subha to Bhagwant Das, brother of Maryam Uz Zamani, who was commonly known as Jadabai. Akbar also rebuilt the city's walls, and extended their perimeter east of the Shah Alami Bazaar to encompass the sparsely populated Rarra Maidan. The Akbari Mandi grain market was set up during this era, and continues to function until present day. Akbar also established the Dharampura neighborhood in the early 1580s, which survives today. The earliest of Lahore's many havelis date from the Akbari era. Lahore's Mughal monuments were built under Akbar's reign of several emperors, and Lahore reached its cultural zenith during this period, with dozens of mosques, tombs, shrines, and urban infrastructure developed during this period. <laughs> Jahangir. During the reign of Emperor Jahangir in the early 17th century, Lahore's bazaars were noted to be vibrant, frequented by foreigners, and stocked with a wide array of goods. In 1606, Jahangir's rebel son Khusrau Mirza laid siege to Lahore after obtaining the blessings of the Sikh guru Aryan Dev. Jahangir quickly defeated his son at Bairawal, and the roots of Mughal Sikh animosity grew. 
Guru Aryan Dev was executed in Lahore in 1606 for his involvement in the rebellion. Emperor Jahangir chose to be buried in Lahore, and his tomb was built in Lahore's Shadara Bagh suburb in 1637 by his wife Nur Jahan, whose tomb is also nearby. <laughs> Shah Jahan Jahangir's son, Shah Jahan reigned between 1628 and 1658, and was born in Lahore in 1592. He renovated large portions of the Lahore fort with luxurious white marble, and erected the iconic Nalika Pavilion in 1633. Shah Jahan lavished Lahore with some of its most celebrated and iconic monuments, such as the Shahi Hammam in 1635, and both the Shalimar Gardens and the extravagantly decorated Wazir Khan Mosque in 1641. The population of pre-modern Lahore probably reached its zenith during his reign, with suburban districts home to perhaps six times as many compared to within the walled city. Aurangzeb <inaudible> Shah Jahan's son, and last of the great Mughal emperors, Aurangzeb, further contributed to the development of Lahore. Aurangzeb built the Alamgiri Bund embankment along the Ravi River in 1662 in order to prevent its shifting course from threatening the city's walls. The area near the embankment grew into a fashionable locality, with several pleasure gardens laid near the Bund by Lahore's gentry. The largest of Lahore's Mughal monuments was raised during his reign, the Badshahi Mosque in 1673, as well as the iconic Alamgiri Gate of the Lahore Fort in 1674. Late Mughal Civil wars regarding succession to the Mughal throne following Aurangzeb's death in 1707 lead to weakening control over Lahore from Delhi, and a prolonged period of decline in Lahore. Mughal preoccupation with the Marathas in the Deccan eventually resulted in Lahore being governed by a series of governors who pledged nominal allegiance to the ever weaker Mughal emperors of Delhi. Mughal Emperor Bahadur Shah I died en route to Lahore as part of a campaign in 1711 to subdue Sikh rebels under the leadership of Banda Singh Bahadur. His sons fought a battle outside Lahore in 1712 for succession to the Mughal crown, with Jahandar winning the throne. Sikh rebels were defeated during the reign of Farooqsiyar, when Abd as Samad and Zakaria Khan suppressed them. Nader Shah's brief invasion of the Mughal Empire in early 1739 wrested control away from Zakaria Khan Bahadur. Though Khan was able to win back control after the Persian armies had left, Nader Shah's invasion shifted trade routes away from Lahore and south towards Kandahar instead. Indus ports near the Arabian Sea that served Lahore also silted up during this time, reducing the city's importance even further. Struggles between Zakaria Khan's sons following his death in 1745 further weakened Muslim control over Lahore, thus leaving the city in a power vacuum and vulnerable to marauders. Topic: <laughs> Durrani Empire. Ahmad Shah Durrani, the founder of the Afghan Durrani Empire, captured Lahore in January 1748. Following Ahmed Shah Durrani's quick retreat, the Mughal crown entrusted Lahore to Mu'an al Mulk Mir Manu. Ahmad Shah Durrani again invaded in 1751, forcing Mir Manu into signing a treaty that submitted Lahore to Afghan rule. Delhi's wazir Ghazi Din Imad al-Mulk would seize Lahore in 1756, provoking Ahmad Shah Durrani to again invade in 1757, after which he placed the city under the rule of his son, Timur Shah Durrani. Durrani rule was briefly interrupted by the Maratha Empire's capture of Lahore in 1758 under Ragunathrao, who drove out the Afghans, while a combined Sikh Maratha defeated an Afghan assault in the 1759 Battle of Lahore. Following a 1761 battle, Ahmad Shah Durrani defeated the Marathas and recaptured Lahore, though Sikh forces soon occupied the city after the Durrani quick withdrawal from the city. The Durranis invaded two more times, while Sikhs would re-occupy the city after each invasion. <laughs> Sikh Early Expanding Sikh missiles secured control over Lahore in 1767, when the Bangi Misl state captured the city. 
In 1780, the city was divided among three rulers, Gujar Singh, Lana Singh, and Soba Singh, while instability resulting from this arrangement allowed nearby Amritsar to establish itself as the area's primary commercial centre. Ahmad Shah Durrani's grandson, Zaman Shah, invaded Lahore in 1796, and again in 1798 9. Ranjit Singh negotiated with the Afghans for the post of Subadar following the second invasion. By the end of the 18th century, the city's population drastically declined, with its remaining residents living within the city walls, while the extramural suburbs lay abandoned, forcing travelers to pass through abandoned and ruined suburbs for a few miles before reaching the city's gates. Topic: <laughs> Sikh Empire. Following Zaman Shah's 1799 invasion of Punjab, Ranjit Singh of nearby Gujranwala to consolidate his position in the aftermath of the invasion. Singh was able to seize control of the region after a series of battles with the Bangi Misl chiefs who had seized Lahore in 1780. His army marched to Anarkali, where the gatekeeper of the Lohari Gate, Mukam Din Chaudhry, opened the gates allowing Ranjit Singh's army to enter Lahore. After capturing the Lahore, the Sikh army immediately began plundering the Muslim areas of the city until their actions were reined in by Ranjit Singh. Ranjit Singh's rule restored much of Lahore's lost grandeur. He established a mint in the city in 1800, and moved into the Mughal palace at the Lahore fort and repurposed it for his own use in governing the Sikh empire. In 1801, he established the Gurdwara Janam Isthan Guru Ram Das to mark the site where Guru Ram Das was born in 1534. Lahore became the empire's administrative capital, though nearby Amritsar had been established as the empire's commercial and spiritual capital by 1802. By 1812 Singh had mostly refurbished the city's defences by adding a second circuit of outer walls surrounding Akbar's original walls, with the two separated by a moat. Singh also partially restored Shah Jahan's decaying gardens at Shalimar. Ranjit Singh built the Hazari Bagh Baradari in 1818 to celebrate his capture of the Koh-i Noor diamond from Shuja Shah Durrani in 1813. He also erected the Gurdwara Dara Sahib to mark the site of Guru Aryan Dev's death in 1606. The Sikh royal court also endowed religious architecture in the city, including a number of Sikh gurdwaras, Hindu temples, and havelis. While much of Lahore's Mughal era fabric lay in ruins by the time of his arrival, Ranjit Singh's rule saw the re establishment of Lahore's glory, though its Mughal monuments suffered during the Sikh period. Singh's armies plundered most of Lahore's most precious Mughal monuments, and stripped the white marble from several monuments to send to different parts of the Sikh empire during his reign. Monuments plundered for decorative materials include the tomb of Esif Khan, the tomb of Nur Jahan, and the Shalimar Gardens. Ranjit Singh's army also desecrated the Badshahi Mosque by converting it into an ammunition depot and a stable for horses. The Sunari Mosque in the walled city of Lahore was also converted to a gurdwara, while the Mosque of Mariam Zamani Begum was repurposed into a gunpowder factory. Late. The Sikh royal court, or the Lahore Durbar, underwent a quick succession of rulers after the death of Ranjit Singh, as his son Karak Singh quickly died, and the next successor now Nihal Singh died in an accident at Lahore's Hazari Bagh on the day of his father's death on 6 November 1840. Maharaja Sher Singh was selected as Maharaja in 1840, though his claim to the throne was quickly challenged by Chand Kaur, widow of Karak Singh and mother of now Nihal Singh, who quickly seized the throne. Sher Singh raised an army that attacked Lahore on 14 January 1841, and mounted weaponry on the minarets of the Badshahi Mosque in order to target Chand Kaur's forces in the Lahore fort, destroying the fort's historic Dewan Eaam. Kaur quickly ceded the throne, but Sher Singh was then assassinated in 1843 in Lahore's Cha Miran neighborhood along with his wazir Dian Singh. Dian Singh's son, Hira Singh, sought to avenge his father's death by laying siege to Lahore, resulting in the capture of his father's murderer, Ajit Singh. Duleep Singh was then crowned Maharaja, with Hira Singh as his wazir, but his power would be weakened by infighting among Sikh nobles. After the conclusion of two Anglo Sikh wars, the Sikh Empire fell into disarray, resulting in the fall of the Lahore Durbar and commencement of British rule. <laughs> British 
The British East India Company seized control of Lahore in February 1846 from the collapsing Sikh state, and occupied the rest of Punjab in 1848. Following the defeat of the Sikhs at the Battle of Gurat, British troops formally deposed Maharaja Dulip Singh in Lahore that same year. Punjab was then annexed to the British Indian Empire in 1849. At the commencement of British rule, Lahore was estimated to have a population of 120,000. Prior to annexation by the British, Lahore's environs consisted mostly of the walled city surrounded by plains interrupted by settlements to the south and east such as Mozang and Kila Gujar Singh, which have since been engulfed by Lahore. The plains between the settlements also contained the remains of Mughal gardens, tombs, and Sikh era military structures. The British viewed Lahore's walled city as a bed of potential social discontent and disease epidemics, and so largely left the inner city alone, while focusing development efforts in Lahore's suburban areas and Punjab's fertile countryside. The British instead laid out their capital city in an area south of the walled city that would come to be known as Civil Station. Under early British rule, formerly prominent Mughal-era monuments that were scattered throughout civil station were also repurposed, and sometimes desecrated, including the tomb of Anarkali, which the British had initially converted to clerical offices before repurposing it as an Anglican church in 1851. The Dai Anga Mosque was converted into railway administration offices during this time as well, while the tomb of Nawab Bahadur Khan was converted into a storehouse, and tomb of Mir Manu was converted into a wine shop. The British also used older structures to house municipal offices, such as the Civil Secretariat, Public Works Department, and Accountant General's Office. The British built the Lahore Railway Station just outside the walled city shortly after the mutiny of 1857, and so built the station in the style of a medieval castle to ward off any potential future uprisings, with thick walls, turrets, and holes to direct gun and cannon fire for defence of the structure. Lahore's most prominent government institutions and commercial enterprises came to be concentrated in civil station in a half-mile-wide area flanking the mall, where unlike in Lahore's military zone, the British and locals were allowed to mix. The mall continues to serve as the epicentre of Lahore's civil administration, as well as one of its most fashionable commercial areas. The British also laid the spacious Lahore cantonment to the southeast of the walled city at the former village of Mian Mir, where unlike around the mall, laws existed against the mixing of different races. Lahore was visited on 9 February 1870 by Prince Alfred, Duke of Edinburgh, a visit in which he received delegations from the Dagras of Jammu, Maharajas of Patiala, the Nawab of Bahawalpur, and other rulers from various Punjabi states. During the visit, he visited several of Lahore's major sites. British authorities built several important structures around the time of the Golden Jubilee of Queen Victoria in 1887 in the distinct Indo-Saracenic style. The Lahore Museum and Mayo School of Industrial Arts were both established around this in this style. The British carried out a census of Lahore in 1901 and counted 20,691 houses in the walled city. An estimated 200,000 people lived in Lahore at this time. Lahore's posh model town was established as a Garden Town suburb in 1921, while Krishan Nagar locality was laid in the 1930s near the Mall and Walled City. Lahore played an important role in the independence movements of both India and Pakistan. The Declaration of the Independence of India was moved by Jawaharlal Nehru and passed unanimously at midnight on 31 December 1929. The Indian Swaraj flag was adopted this time as well. Lahore's jail was used by the British to imprison independence activists such as Jatin Das, and was also where Bhagat Singh was hanged in 1931. Under the leadership of Muhammad Ali Jinnah the All India Muslim League passed the Lahore Resolution in 1940, demanding the creation of Pakistan as a separate homeland for the Muslims of India. Partition. The 1941 census showed that Lahore had a population of 671,659, of which was 64.5% Muslim, with the remainder being mostly Sikh and Hindu. The population figure was disputed by Hindus and Sikhs before the Boundary Commission that would draw the Radcliffe Line to demarcate the border of the two new states based on religious demography. In a bid to have Lahore awarded to India, they argued that the city was only 54% Muslim, and that Hindu and Sikh domination of the city's economy and educational institutions should trump Muslim demography. 
Two thirds of shops, and 80% of Lahore's factories belonged to the Hindu and Sikh community, though the British ultimately were unconvinced that ownership of property equated with sovereignty. As tensions grew over the city's uncertain fate, Lahore experienced partition's worst riots. Carnage ensued in which all three religious groups were both victims and perpetrators. Early riots in March and April 1947 destroyed 6,000 of Lahore's 82,000 homes. Violence continued to rise throughout the summer, despite the presence of armoured British personnel. Hindus and Sikhs began to leave the city en masse as their hopes that the Boundary Commission to award the city to India came to be regarded as increasingly unlikely. By late August 1947, 66% of Hindus and Sikhs had left the city. The Shah Alami Bazaar, once a largely Hindu quarter of the walled city, was entirely burnt down. When Pakistan's independence was declared on August 14, 1947, the Radcliffe Line had not yet been announced, and so cries of Long Live Pakistan and God as Greatest were heard intermittently with Long Live Hindustan throughout the night. Upon independence, Lahore was made capital of the Punjab province in the new state of Pakistan. The city's location near the Indian border meant that it received large numbers of refugees fleeing anti-Muslim pogroms in eastern Punjab and northern India, though it was able to accommodate them given the large stock of abandoned Hindu and Sikh properties that could be redistributed to newly arrived refugees. <laughs> Modern Partition left Lahore with a much weakened economy, and a stymied social and cultural scene that had previously been invigorated by the city's Hindus and Sikhs. Industrial production dropped to one-third of pre-partition levels by end of the 1940s, and only 27% of its manufacturing units were operating by 1950, and usually well below capacity. Capital flight further weakened the city's economy while Karachi industrialized and became more prosperous. The city's weakened economy, and proximity to the Indian border, meant that the city was deemed unsuitable to be the Pakistani capital after independence. Karachi was chosen instead on account of its relative tranquility, stronger economy, and better infrastructure. After the partition period, Lahore slowly regained its significance as an economic and cultural centre of western Punjab. Reconstruction began in 1949 of the Shah Alami Bazaar, the former commercial heart of the walled city until it was destroyed in the 1947 riots. The tomb of Allama Iqbal was built in 1951 to honor the philosopher-poet who provided spiritual inspiration for the Pakistan movement. In 1955, Lahore was selected to be capital of all West Pakistan during the single-unit period that lasted until 1970. Lahore was successful in repelling an Indian invasion during War of 1965, in which the city had been surrounded on three sides. Shortly afterwards, Lahore's iconic Minar-e-Pakistan was completed in 1968 to mark the spot where the Pakistan Resolution was passed. With United Nations assistance, the government was able to rebuild Lahore, and most scars of the communal violence of war and partition were ameliorated. The second Islamic Summit Conference was held in the city in 1974. In retaliation for the destruction of the Babri Masjid in India by Hindu fanatics, riots erupted in 1992 in which several non-Muslim monuments were targeted, including most of the tomb of Maharaja Sher Singh. In 1996, the International Cricket Council Cricket World Cup final match was held at the Gaddafi Stadium in Lahore. Point eight people were killed in the March 2009 attack on the Sri Lanka national cricket team in Lahore. The walled city of Lahore restoration project began in 2009, when the Punjab government embarked on a major project to restore the Royal Trail from Akbari Gate to the Lahore Fort with assistance from the World Bank. Geography Lying between 31 degrees 15 31 degrees 45 N and 74 degrees 01 74 degrees 39 E, Lahore is bounded on the north and west by the Shikapura district, on the east by Waga, and on the south by Kajur district. The Ravi River flows on the northern side of Lahore. Lahore city covers a total land area of 404 square kilometers, 156 square miles. Topic: <inaudible> Climate. Lahore has a semi-arid climate, Köppen climate classification BSH. 
The hottest month is June, when average highs routinely exceed 40 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit. The monsoon season starts in late June, and the wettest month is July, with heavy rainfalls and evening thunderstorms with the possibility of cloudbursts. The coolest month is January with dense fog. The city's record high temperature was 48.3 degrees Celsius, 118.9 degrees Fahrenheit, recorded on the 30th of May 1944. 48 degrees Celsius, 118 degrees Fahrenheit was recorded on the 10th of June 2007. At the time the Meteorological Office recorded this official temperature in the shade, it reported a heat index in direct sunlight of 55 degrees Celsius 131 degrees Fahrenheit. The record low is minus 1 degree Celsius 30 degrees Fahrenheit, recorded on 13 January 1967. The highest rainfall in a 24-hour period is 221 mm 8.7 in, recorded on 13 August 2008. On 26 February 2011, Lahore received heavy rain and hail measuring 4.5 mm in, which carpeted roads and sidewalks with measurable hail for the first time in the city's recorded history. Demographics Population. The results of the 2017 census determined the population to be at 11,126,285, with an annual growth rate of 4.07% since 1998. Gender-wise, 52.35% of the population is male, while 47.64% is female and transgenders make only 0.01% of the population. Lahore is a young city with over 40% of its inhabitants below the age of 15. The average life expectancy stand at less than 60 years of age. Another statistic is that less than 40% of the population of the city are literate. <inaudible> Religion The city has a Muslim majority and Christian minority population. There is also a small but long-standing Zoroastrian community. Additionally, Lahore contains some of Sikhism's holiest sites and is a major Sikh pilgrimage site. According to the 1998 census, 94% of Lahore's population is Muslim, up from 60% in 1941. Other religions include Christians 5.80% of the total population, though they form around 9.0% of the rural population and small numbers of Ahmadiyya, Baha'is, Hindus, Parsis and Sikhs. Lahore's first church was built during the reign of Emperor Akbar in the late 16th century, which was then leveled by Shah Jahan in 1632. <laughs> Cityscape. Topic. Urban form Lahore's modern cityscape consists of the historic walled city of Lahore in the northern part of the city, which contains several world and national heritage sites. Lahore's urban planning was not based on geometric design, but was instead built piecemeal, with small cul-de-sacs, catras and galas developed in the context of neighboring buildings. Though certain neighborhoods were named for particular religious or ethnic communities, the neighborhoods themselves typically were diverse, and were not dominated by the namesake group. Lahore has more Mughal era monuments than Delhi, India, and structures from this era are now amongst the most iconic features of Lahore. By the end of Sikh rule, most of Lahore's massive Haveli compounds had been occupied by settlers. New neighborhoods occasionally grew up entirely within the confines of an old Mughal haveli, such as the Mohalla Pathran Wali, which grew within the ruins of a haveli of the same name that was built by Mian Khan. By 1831, all Mughal havelis in the walled city had been encroached upon by the surrounding neighborhood, leading to the modern-day absence of any Mughal havelis in Lahore. Thirteen gates surrounded the history walled city. Some of the remaining gates include the Raushnai Gate, Masti Gate, Yaki Gate, Kashmiri Gate, Kaziri Gate, Shah Burj Gate, Akbari Gate and Lahori Gate. Southeast of the walled city is the spacious British-era Lahore Cantonment. Architecture 
Lahore is home to numerous monuments from the Mughal dynasty, Sikh Empire, and British Raj. The architectural style of the walled city of Lahore has traditionally been influenced by Mughal and Sikh styles. The leafy suburbs to the south of the Old City, as well as the cantonment southwest of the Old City, were largely developed under British colonial rule, and feature colonial-era buildings built alongside leafy avenues. <laughs> Sikh period By the arrival of the Sikh Empire, Lahore had decayed from its former glory as the Mughal capital. Rebuilding efforts under Ranjit Singh and his successors were influenced by Mughal practices, and Lahore was known as the City of Gardens during the Ranjit Singh period. Later British maps of the area surrounding Lahore dating from the mid-19th century show many walled private gardens which were confiscated from the Muslim noble families bearing the names of prominent Sikh nobles, a pattern of patronage which was inherited from the Mughals. While much of Lahore's Mughal era fabric lay in ruins by the time of his arrival, Ranjit Singh's armies plundered most of Lahore's most precious Mughal monuments, and stripped the white marble from several monuments to send to different parts of the Sikh Empire. Monuments plundered of their marble include the tomb of Asif Khan, tomb of Nur Jahan, the Shalimar Gardens were plundered of much of its marble and costly agate. The Sikh state also demolished a number of shrines and monuments laying outside the city's walls. Sikh rule left Lahore with several monuments, and a heavily altered Lahore fort. Ranjit Singh's rule had restored Lahore to much of its last grandeur, and the city was left with a large number of religious monuments from this period. Several havelis were built during this era, though only a few still remain. <laughs> British period As capital of British Punjab, British colonialists made a lasting architectural impression on the city. Structures were built predominantly in the Indo-Gothic style, a syncretic architectural style that blends elements of Victorian and Islamic architecture, or in the distinct Indo-Saracenic style. The British also built neoclassical Montgomery Hall, which today serves as the Quaid e Azam Library. Lawrence Gardens were also laid near Civil Station, and were paid for by donations solicited from both Lahore's European community, as well as from wealthy locals. The gardens featured over 600 species of plants, and were tended to by a horticulturist sent from London's Royal Botanic Gardens at Kew. The British authorities built several important structures around the time of the Golden Jubilee of Queen Victoria in 1887 in the distinct Indo Saracenic style. The Lahore Museum and Mayo School of Industrial Arts were both established around this in this style. Other prominent examples of the Indo-Saracenic style in Lahore include Lahore's prestigious Aitchison College, the Punjab Chief Court today the Lahore High Court, Lahore Museum and University of the Punjab. Many of Lahore's most important buildings were designed by Sir Ganga Ram, who is sometimes called the father of modern Lahore. <laughs> Parks and gardens The Shalimar Gardens were laid out during the reign of Shah Jahan and were designed to mimic the Islamic paradise of the afterlife described in the Quran. The gardens follow the familiar Sharba layout of four squares, with three descending terraces. The Lawrence Garden was established in 1862 and was originally named after Sir John Lawrence, late 19th century British Viceroy to India. The circular garden, which surrounds on the walled city on three sides, was established by 1892. The many other gardens and parks in the city include Hazari Bagh, Iqbal Park, Mochi Bagh, Gulshan e Iqbal Park, Model Town Park, Race Course Park, Nasir Bagh Lahore, Jalo Park, Lahore Zoo Safari Park, and Changa Manga, a man made forest near Lahore in the Kajar district. Another example is the Bog e Jinnah, a 141-acre botanical garden that houses entertainment and sports facilities as well as a library. Topic economy As of 2008, the city's gross domestic product GDP by purchasing power parity PPP was estimated at $40 billion with a projected average growth rate of 5.6%. This is at par with Pakistan's economic hub, Karachi, with Lahore having half the population, fostering an economy that is 51% of the size of Karachi's $78 billion in 2008. The contribution of Lahore to the national economy is estimated to be 11.5% and 19% to the provincial economy of Punjab. 
As a whole Punjab has $115 billion economy making it first and to date only Pakistani subdivision of economy more than $100 billion at the rank 144. Lahore's GDP is projected to be $102 billion by the year 2025, with a slightly higher growth rate of 5.6% per annum, as compared to Karachi's 5.5%, a major industrial agglomeration with about 9,000 industrial units. Lahore has shifted in recent decades from manufacturing to service industries. Some 42% of its workforce is employed in finance, banking, real estate, community, cultural, and social services. The city is Pakistan's largest software and hardware producing center, and hosts a growing computer assembly industry. The city has always been a center for publications where 80% of Pakistan's books are published, and it remains the foremost center of literary, educational, and cultural activity in Pakistan. The Lahore Expo Center is one of the biggest projects in the history of the city and was inaugurated on the 22nd of May 2010. Defence Raya Golf Resort, also under construction, will be Pakistan's and Asia's largest golf course. The project is the result of a partnership between DHA Lahore and BRDB Malaysia. The rapid development of large projects such as these in the city is expected to boost the economy of the country. Ferozapur Road of the Central Business Districts of Lahore contains high-rises and skyscrapers including Kair International Hotel and Arfa Software Technology Park. Transport Public transportation City buses Lahore's main public transportation system is operated by the Lahore Transport Company LTC and Punjab Mass Transit Authority PMTA. The backbone of its public transport network is the PMTA's Lahore Metrobus and soon to be Orange Line of the Lahore Metro. LTC and PMTA also operates an extensive network of buses, providing bus service to many parts of the city and acting as a feeder system for the Metrobus. The Lahore Metrobus is a bus rapid transit service operating in Lahore, Punjab, Pakistan. Lahore Metrobus service is integrated with Lahore Transport Company's local bus service to operate as one urban transport system, providing seamless transit service across Lahore district with connections to neighboring suburban communities. <laughs> Metro Orange Line The Orange Line is an automated rapid transit system under construction in Lahore. When operational, the Orange Line will become Pakistan's first metro rail line. The Orange Line is the first of the three proposed rail lines proposed for the Lahore Metro. The line will span 27.1 kilometers, 16.8 miles with 25.4 kilometers, 15.8 miles elevated and 1.72 kilometers, 1.1 miles underground. The line will be served by 26 stations and is expected to handle 250,000 passenger daily. Though it is frequently mentioned as a part of the wider China-Pakistan economic corridor, the orange line is being financed by the government of Punjab. CRRC Zhuzhou Locomotive rolled out the first of 27 trains for the metro on 16 May 2017. Recently numerous successful trials have been run. <laughs> Blue Line The Blue Line is a proposed 24 km 15 miles line from Shoburji to College Road, Township. Topic. Purple Line The Purple Line is a proposed 32 km airport rail link. Topic. Rickshaw and taxi Radio cab services Uber and Kareem have been introduced by some private companies. These taxis need to be booked in advance by booking on apps and calling their number. Auto rickshaws play an important role of public transport in Lahore. 
There are 246,458 auto rickshaws, often simply called autos, in the city. Since 2002, all auto rickshaws have been required to use CNG as fuel. Topic: Intercity transportation. Lahore Junction Station serves as the main railway station for Lahore, and serves as a major hub for all Pakistan railway services in northern Pakistan. It includes services to Peshawar and national capital Islamabad Rawalpindi, and long-distance services to Karachi and Quetta. Lahore Cantonment Station also operates a few trains. The Lahore Badami Bog Bus Terminal serves as a hub for intercity bus services in Lahore, served by multiple bus companies providing a comprehensive network of services in Punjab and neighboring provinces. <laughs> Airports Pakistan's third busiest airport, Allama Iqbal International Airport, IATA, LHE, straddles the city's eastern boundary. The new passenger terminal was opened in 2003, replacing the old terminal which now serves as a VIP and Hajj lounge. The airport was named after the national poet-philosopher, Muhammad Iqbal, and is a secondary hub for the national flag carrier, Pakistan International Airlines. Walton Airport in Askari provides general aviation facilities. In addition, Sialkot International Airport IATA, SKT, and Faisalabad International Airport IATA, LYP, also serve as alternate airports for the Lahore area in addition to serving their respective cities. Allama Iqbal International Airport connects Lahore with many cities worldwide including domestic destinations by both passenger and cargo flight including Ras Al Khaima, Guangzhou begins 28 August 2018, Urumqi, Abu Dhabi, Barcelona, Beijing capital, Copenhagen, Dammam, Delhi, Dara Ghazi Khan, Doha, Dubai International, Islamabad, Jeddah, Karachi, Kuala Lumpur International, London Heathrow, Manchester, Medina, Milan Malpensa, Moulton, Muscat, Oslo Gardarman, Paris Charles de Gaulle, Peshawar, Quetta, Rahim Yar Khan, Riyadh, Salalah, Tokyo Narita, Toronto Pearson, Mashhad, Bangkok Suwanapum, Tashkent. Roads There are a number of municipal, provincial and federal roads that serve Lahore. Municipal roads Canal Road serves as the major north-south artery Provincial Highways Lahore Ring Road Lahore Kajar Road Ferozapur Road Lahore Rywand Road Rywand Road Lahore Sharakupur Road Sagianwala Bypass Road Lahore Waga Road Federal Highways M2 Motorway M3 Motorway N5 National Highway Moulton Road Topic Government Topic Metropolitan Corporation Under Punjab Local Government Act, 2013, Lahore is a metropolitan area and under the authority of the Metropolitan Corporation Lahore. The district is divided into nine zones, each with its own elected deputy mayor. The Metropolitan Corporation Lahore is a body of those nine deputy, as well as the city's mayor, all of whom are elected in popular elections. The Metropolitan Corporation approves zoning and land use, urban design and planning, environmental protection laws, as well as provide municipal services. <laughs> mayor As per the Punjab Local Government Act 2013, the mayor of Lahore is the elected head of the Metropolitan Corporation of Lahore. The mayor is directly elected in municipal elections every four years alongside nine deputy town mayors. Mubashir Javid of the Pakistan Muslim League was elected mayor of Lahore in 2016. The mayor is responsible for the administration of government services, the composition of councils and committees overseeing Lahore City District Departments and serves as the chairperson for meeting of Lahore Council. The mayor also functions to help devise long-term development plans in consultation with other stakeholders and bodies to improve the condition, livability, and sustainability of urban areas. <laughs> <laughs> 
Topic: Neighborhoods. Lahore district is a subdivision of the Punjab and is further divided into 9 administrative zones. Each town in turn consists of a group of union councils which total to 274. Topic: Politics. The 2015 local government elections for union councils in Lahore yielded the following results. Topic: Festivals. The people of Lahore celebrate many festivals and events throughout the year, blending Mughal Indian, Western, and other traditions. Eid ul Fitr and Eid ul Adha are celebrated. Many people decorate their houses and light candles to illuminate the streets and houses during public holidays. Roads and businesses may be lit for days. The mausoleum of Ali Hujawiri, also known as Data Ganj Bash, Punjabi, Data Gnj Bish or Data Sahib, is located in Lahore, and an annual Ors is held every year as a big festival. Basant is a Punjabi festival marking the coming of spring. Basant celebrations in Pakistan are centered in Lahore, and people from all over the country and from abroad come to the city for the annual festivities. Kite flying competitions traditionally take place on city rooftops during Basant. Courts have banned the kite flying because of casualties and power installation losses. The ban was lifted for two days in 2007, then immediately reimposed when 11 people were killed by celebratory gunfire, sharp kite strings, electrocution, and falls related to the competition. Tourism Lahore remains a major tourist destination in Pakistan. The walled city of Lahore was renovated in 2014 and is popular due to the presence of UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Among the most popular sites are the Lahore Fort, adjacent to the walled city, and home to the Shish Mahal, the Alamgiri Gate, the Nalika Pavilion, and the Modi Masjid. The fort along with the adjoining Shalimar Gardens has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1981. The city is home to several ancient religious sites including prominent Hindu temples, the Krishna Temple and Valmiki Mandir. The Samadhi of Ranjit Singh, also located near the walled city, houses the funerary urns of the Sikh ruler Maharaja Ranjit Singh. The most prominent religious building is the Badshahi Mosque, constructed in 1673, it was the largest mosque in the world upon construction. Another popular site is the Wazir Khan Mosque, known for its extensive faience tile work and constructed in 1635. Religious sites Other well-known religious sites in the city are Badshahi Mosque Suneri Mosque Masjid of Maryam Zamani Nevan Mosque Dai Anga Mosque Shab Bar Mosque Wazir Khan Mosque Modi Masjid Lahore Fort Muhammad Salah Kambo Mosque Masjid Shuhada Unchi Mosque Lohari Gate Mosque Shahid Ganj Mosque Data Durbar Complex Grand Jamia Mosque, Lahore Valmiki Temple Krishna Mandir, Lahore Sacred Heart Cathedral, Lahore Museums Lahore Museum National History Museum Fakir Khanna Javed Manzil Shakir Ali Museum Islamic Summit Minar National Museum of Science and Technology Tollington Market Lahore City Heritage Museum Tombs Havelis There are many Havelis inside the walled city of Lahore, some in good condition while others need urgent attention. Many of these Havelis are fine examples of Mughal and Sikh architecture. Some of the Havelis inside the walled city include Mubarak Begum Haveli Body Gate, Chunna Mandi Havelis, Haveli of Now Nihal Singh, Nisar Haveli, Haveli Barud Khana. 
Salman Sir Hindi Ki Haveli, Dina Nath Ki Haveli, Mubarak Haveli, Chowk Nawab Sahib, Mochi, Akbari Gate, Lal Haveli beside Mochi Bagh, Mughal Haveli, residents of Maharaja Ranjit Singh, Haveli Sir Wajid Ali Shah near Nisar Haveli, Haveli Mian Khan, Rang Mahal, Haveli Shirgarian near Lal Ko. Topic: Other landmarks. Shahi Hammam. Topic: Historic neighborhoods. Walled city of Lahore, Anarkali, Shadara Bagh, Mughalpura, Begumpura, Bagbanpura, Badami Bagh, Mughalpura. Topic: Education. Lahore is known as Pakistan's educational capital, with more colleges and universities than any other city in Pakistan. Lahore is Pakistan's largest producer of professionals in the fields of science, technology, law, IT, engineering, medicine, nuclear sciences, pharmacology, telecommunication, biotechnology and microelectronics, nanotechnology and the only future hyper-high-tech center of Pakistan. Most of the reputable universities are public, but in recent years there has also been an upsurge in the number of private universities. The literacy rate of Lahore is 74%. Lahore hosts some of Pakistan's oldest and best educational institutes. Lahore University of Management Sciences, established in 1986. St. Francis High School, established in 1842. King Edward Medical University, established in 1860. Foreman Christian College, established in 1864 Government College University, Lahore, established in 1864 Convent of Jesus and Mary, established in 1867 University Law College, established in 1868 National College of Arts, established in 1875 Oriental College, established in 1876 University of the Punjab, established in 1882 University of Veterinary and Animal Sciences, established in 1882 Central Model School, established in 1883 Aitchison College, established in 1886 Muslim Model High School, established in 1890 Islamia College, established in 1892 St. Anthony's High School, established in 1892 Sacred Heart High School, established in 1906 Queen Mary College, established in 1908 Dayal Singh College, established 1910 Canard College for Women University, established in 1913 University of Engineering and Technology, Lahore, established in 1921 Lahore College for Women University, established in 1922 Haley College of Commerce, established in 1927 De Montmorency College of Dentistry, established in 1929 M.A. O. College, established in 1933 Lady McLagan Training College, established in 1933 Lady Willingdon Nursing School, established in 1933 University College of Pharmacy, established in 1944 Jamia Ashrafia, established in 1947 Fatima Jinnah Medical University, established in 1948 College of Statistical and Actuarial Sciences, established in 1950 College of Home Economics, established in 1955 Don Bosco High School, established in 1956 University of Education, established in 2002 Pakturk International Schools and Colleges, established in 2006. Topic: <inaudible> Fashion. The Pakistan Fashion Design Council organized the Lahore Fashion Week 2010 as well as the PFDC Sunsilk Fashion Week Lahore 2011. Topic: <inaudible> Sports. 
Lahore has successfully hosted many international sports events including the finals of the 1990 Men's Hockey World Cup and the 1996 Cricket World Cup. The headquarters of all major sports governing bodies are located here in Lahore including cricket, hockey, rugby, football etc. and also has the head office of Pakistan Olympic Association. Gaddafi Stadium is a test cricket ground in Lahore. It was completed in 1959 and later in 1990s, renovations were carried out by Pakistani architect Nayar Ali Dada. Lahore is home to several golf courses. The Lahore Gymkhana Golf Course, the Lahore Garrison Golf and Country Club, the Royal Palm Golf Club and newly built DHA Golf Club are well-maintained golf courses in Lahore. In nearby Rywand Road, a nine-holes course, Lake City, opened in 2011. The newly opened Oasis Golf and Aqua Resort is another addition to the city. It is a state-of-the-art facility featuring golf, water parks, and leisure activities such as horse riding, archery and more. The Lahore Marathon is part of an annual package of six international marathons being sponsored by Standard Chartered Bank across Asia, Africa, and the Middle East. More than 20,000 athletes from Pakistan and all over the world participate in this event. It was first held on 30 January 2005, and again on 29 January 2006. More than 22,000 people participated in the 2006 race. The third marathon was held on 14 January 2007. Plans exist to build Pakistan's first sports city in Lahore, on the bank of the Ravi River. Professional sports teams from Lahore Topic. Twin towns and sister cities The following international cities have been declared twin towns and sister cities of Lahore. Topic. See also Lahore Fashion Week Lahore Knowledge Park Lahore Literary Festival Lahore Railway Station Lahori Cuisine List of cemeteries in Lahore List of cities proper by population List of cities with the most high-rise buildings List of films set in Lahore List of hospitals in Lahore List of largest cities in Organization of Islamic Cooperation member countries List of metropolitan areas in Asia List of people from Lahore List of streets in Lahore List of tallest buildings in Lahore List of towns in Lahore List of urban areas by population Sikh period in Lahore Transport in Lahore Walled city of Lahore